going on guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to revoke permissions from old contracts on your wallet this is a really sneaky way that hacks can happen if you've interacted with a sketchy project in the past or you've put money into like meme coins that you're not too sure about um, those contracts and those projects still have access to some of your funds on your metamask so i'm going to show you how to remove all of those permissions and there's no risk of possibly getting hacked all right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our wallet address that we wanna fix. So I'm gonna paste that in here. And, uh, so once you've got your wallet pulled up here, you're gonna go to the right where it says more, go to token approvals, and it's gonna show you all the token contracts here that you've given permission to in the past. So we're gonna hit connect to Web3, just it's over here in case you can't see. <laughs> Uh, connect to Web3, MetaMask, and now we've connected our wallet, okay. Um, and basically, these are all the contracts that I've given permission to. And here, again, you can see, we wanna revoke this one, this is for stablecoin. I've given uh, one inch exchange, unlimited access to the USDC tokens in my wallet. So you can see how this can be risky if you've if you've uh, played with like other exchanges, some sketchier projects. So we're just gonna hit revoke. And luckily the gas fees are pretty cheap. So I'm gonna pay the 63 cents in Ethereum. And that's it. Um, that's all there is to it. You can view your transaction and you can see that it's going through if you wanna make sure that it's actually been revoked. Um, but we can exit this now and you would just do this step-by-step step for every single uh, contract that you want to remove from your wallet and yep as we can see here it's been successfully revoked so one inch no longer has permission to spend unlimited amounts of my usdc token so that's basically it if you want to do the same thing on another network like polygon same process so you paste in your wallet address and we are going to go here where it shows us token approvals Connect to Web3, click MetaMask. I'm gonna switch over to the Polygon network. Hit OK on this prompt. So we're gonna revoke permission from QuickSwap to use my USDC. Revoke, revoke, and get another gas fee here. And that's basically it. So, so you can do this one by one for each interaction, uh, sorry, for each contract on your wallet. If you have a really old wallet, um, then that can take a long time. It could add up in gas fees. Honestly, in my opinion, if you just want to play it safe, I would just move all of the funds into a brand new fresh wallet. So that way you don't have to delete each of these contracts and go through them manually and you know spend all these fees. Uh, but it depends on each person. So that's basically how you do it. And uh, yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me get found on the YouTube algorithm. If you need any other assistance, uh, or have more technical questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Please be aware of scams that are out there. I don't have any backup accounts. I never ask for your money. I never want to see your private keys. Uh, just please be careful for that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.